hello everyone so today we are going to work on this now as you can see here when the character walked down the character try to keep the head straight similarly when the character walks up he is not looking upward he is keeping uh, he is looking for in the forward direction keeping the head horizontal like this so that's what i am going to work on today So if, yeah, yeah, here is keep uh, the head horizontal, all right? So let's see how to do that. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support. Right, so at the moment, when this character moved down a mountain, you can see the head is uh, aligned with the ground it's not realistic he's kicky looking up so what i want to do is when i stop like this character should make the head horizontal instead of keep looking up also when moving down also when i stop he should keep straight forward instead of down so i think that would make the character look more realistic i don't know but let's see how it looks so okay so how do we do that right so when the character is uh, moving down like this we can get the rotation uh, the direction of this slope like this and the head also aligned with that one so then let's say with the horizontal axis alpha is the angle makes this forward axis right so in order to make the head rotate and align with the horizontal axis we need to rotate the head alpha amount upward so that's what i try what i have to do basically so here we already have this flow angle forward we have calculated this for uh, for our leg alignment calculations where we modify the leg bones to properly align with the slope of the ground and everything we did before so we already have the flow angle in forward direction that means along the character so we can use this to modify the head to keep it straight so first i'll add the print here and let's print the flow angle i just want to see um what kind of uh, of uh, values we get here right okay you can see pitch is changing now it's minus 20 and now it's so when we go upward pitch becomes more and more positive and when we go downwards pitch becomes more and more negative so right that's the basic thing we need to know about the flow angle now in that graph let's add uh, another transform modify bone note and let's connect it at the end like this okay now i'm going to change which bone neck one What's the neck one? Oh yeah. Let's see. Okay, I think that would be good enough. Changing that would be enough. Okay. So now, um, neck one. 
translation we are not going to modify only the rotation let's say add to existing in parent born space okay now which component I need to change let's try x90 okay that's not the one <laughs> 90 right that's also not the one it's to look left and right what about uh, this one right that's the one so if I add a positive number to the Z component or oh, yo of the transform modify bond node character looks up if I add a negative number character looks down so let's get this flow angle forward and split so as you as I just said when the character move down pitch becomes negative and character moves up pitch becomes positive but what we need to do is uh, when the character moves up when the pitch value is positive in order to keep the head straight we should subtract that amount from the current rotation of the head so let's multiply it with a minus one and feed to the yo let's call this head keep head straight oh. okay right now let's see what happens cool it is working now as you can see the character keep the head straight forward so let's see how it looks when it look walk upward all right now he's keeping the head straight cool so yeah that's basically what I wanted to do see it's great all right so cool we can stop this episode right here okay and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club link would be in the description below and also the project files will be available for download in the patron page so thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye